This is Salma Schimmel for the Group Room at the ESMO 2012 Congress happening now in Vienna, where our discussion continues now with Dr. Bruno Danelli, who is the Director of the Department of Oncology and Medical Oncology at the Rumo Hospital in Benevento, Italy. Welcome. What's in the pipeline? Where do you see future treatments going? What is your hope on a research level? Until a few years ago, let's say five years ago, uh, we did not have uh, any systemic treatment uh, for patients with advanced, uh, advanced hepatocellular carcinoma. Uh, all the trials uh, that were done with uh, uh, hormonal uh, agents uh, or uh, uh, with chemotherapy or with immunotherapy failed. Um, we learned a lot about selection of patients with hepatocellular carcinoma and eventually uh, two trials with sorafenib both demonstrated uh, uh, that the, this agent is effective in improving uh, survival of patients with hepatocellular carcinoma advanced liver cancer. Uh, now uh, there are uh, other agents with different mechanism of actions that um, uh, are investigated and uh, for uh, at least one of them uh, there is hope that uh, it will be effective uh, in, uh, in these patients in the future. Are there active clinical trials happening that we want to mention in the area of liver cancer? Well, since the sorafenib trials, uh, uh, there have been a number of trials with different agents. Unfortunately, uh, most of them failed uh, for several reasons uh, and probably one of the reasons is uh, uh, that uh, uh, they were not enough studied in patients with liver cirrhosis. Uh, at this ESMO meeting uh, at the first presidential symposium there was a presentation about uh, a combination of a sorafenib and erlotinib uh, which uh, reasonably could be an effective combination because it targets two different pathways of uh, the liver cancer but eventually uh, the combination failed um, most likely because it was too toxic for patients with, uh, uh, with liver cancer and uh, liver cirrhosis. Uh, but uh, uh, there is also at this ESMO meeting uh, a presentation about uh, a MET inhibitor, Tivantinib, uh, which demonstrated uh, to be effective uh, in the second line in patients failing treatment with sorafenib, uh, and uh, uh, especially in uh, patients that uh, uh, express high levels of CMET, which is the target of Tivantinib. So we have the drug, we have uh, the target, uh, and we have the results. Uh, it's extremely exciting. It sounds like there is an identifying uh, target or pathway that could help determine a more effective biologic therapy. We know uh, several potential targets uh, for treatment of hepatocellular carcinoma. Um, unfortunately, uh, we do not know the measure uh, with which uh, each pathway uh, affects the growth of, uh, of liver cancer. So far, uh, only CMET uh, has uh, reached a, a level of prognostic factor and predictive to, to response to treatment. So as we've been talking a lot about personalized medicine at this ESMO Congress, uh, a patient who does have a liver resection and has a biopsy, in addition to the microscopic analysis, is there benefit to then have molecular pathology conducted on that specimen? Uh, I think that uh, for the general knowledge of uh, the biology of uh, liver cancer, it would be useful to study uh, the molecular biology uh, within the tissue. Uh, and I think that uh, all trials that uh, uh, will be done in the future uh, should have uh, a analysis of, uh, of the liver tissue because even retrospectively you, you can uh, uh, get some insights into the mechanism of action. You, you can select a subgroup of patients that may benefit from the treatment. When a physician 
uh, suspects liver cancer, it's not an open surgery, it can be done laparoscopically? You can get biopsy even uh, uh, with uh, a small needle under uh, ultrasound guidance. With liver cancer, are you easily able to access enough tissue? Yeah, generally yes. So you can use a uh, um, reasonable size needle uh, to get enough tissue to do both diagnosis and molecular analysis. It's really important for patients with liver cancers or at risk uh, for liver cancer that uh, uh, the area has been uh, uh, investigated uh, deeply in the past years and uh, the future uh, looks promising. So it's uh, a word of hope for these patients. Thank you, Dr. Bruno Donelli, Director of the Department of Oncology and Medical Oncology at the Rumo Hospital in Benevento, Italy. Thank you for teaching us something about a disease that probably needs more um, awareness amongst the general public. Okay, thank you.